Well, what's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over a quick expert advanced guide for the hinges. So, so as you can see we got here, we have some hinges. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, ask me a lot of questions on how to do hinges and uh, basically equip them to others without merge blocks and stuff and stuff like that. So that's what we're basically going over today and we're going to do another run through of the control menu as well so we can get a bit more of a comprehensive look at the hinges itself. So if you like my content please hit the like button, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'm well over 100, uh, 200 subscribers now and I'm absolutely loving all of you guys, the community is great. My server that I have, my dedicated server, has got a nice community now. So let's keep it up and obviously thank you very much if you do subscribe. So let's get into the content. So hinges. Now these hinges have been, they've been relatively new. They've been out for a few months. They come out in the Sparks of the Future upgrade or uh, update. So essentially what, what they do is I'll show you where they, you find them. You find them in advanced systems and they are there. And this is what they look like. Oh no. And well, essentially, when you build on them, let me just show you for an example quick before I get into the, the, de the de detail stuff. So we want to basically stick two together, yeah, for stability and other reasons. You, you kind of want to go like that and then you put a block from there across. Right, so going back to what I was showing you, essentially it's connected, the main blocks are connected on that left hinge. And this right hinge does act like it's moving, but I believe it's actually not connected. Because as you can see, if I creep in there a bit tighter, it's not flush. Now, I think it's only moving because of the way it sat on the block. So if I, were, so if I go back to the hinge number six and then do reverse see it's moving and now it's attached so essentially that it's not actually attached to that hinge now to to combat this to get the hinges to be working in tandem and the whole grid connected to both hinges we do something unique so let's get rid of this a minute and I'll show you what I mean <laughs> so what you want to do is if you build like a door, hanger or anything like that and use multiple hinges, you place your one hinge in and leave one head on and then you place your other hinges in the positions you want them to be in and then you have your um, obviously your door, your beam, whatever you want to attach to that first hinge and you take the heads off the other hinges. Now to attach them so they are working together you want to find the hinge part, which is this piece here. So that's the normal hinge, and that's hinge part. And then you want to put the hinge part so it's slotted inside the um, the uh, rotor, not the rotor, the hinge's head. So we do this on both of them, like so. All right, but it's not attached yet, so don't go not don't go like thinking it is. And what, where's my control panel? So you come to your control panel now, and then you basically go into it. You go to hit the hinges that you just placed the heads on, and then you come down to attach. And then when you attach it, all it will attach the hinge head to the bottom of the hinge, the uh, the opening. That's on both of them. Now they're all attached, and they're all connected to the same grid. And now they should all be working together in a sense of the what as one. Now this this can work obviously better if you had say connect not connectors conveyor tubes going through. I'll show you. So let's just uh, do this one here. So reverse. See it's not moving. 
all right because all the other two are stuck at zero on the uh um what do you call it the other two are stuck on zero velocity so what we do so that was we gotta check so that was at three rpms on the velocity so we get our two and three hinge come down to the velocity and then we go up to three which is that there and as you can see now they're all moving pretty simple and then we go back again oh see now it's is you've got to make sure you do them all but you can do it where only one works by basically turning off both of them I think that's how it works no it's not gonna work is it did I do that right off off there we go I'm still getting used to the new uh, buttons here so basically yeah, if you turn them off they still work as attached and only one hinge works but if you need more power you know more more like uh, strength in your hinge to lift up and down you know this is basically how you do it so do we run I'll run you through what you gotta do one more time um, essentially I'll demonstrate with a new set of hinges or a new hinge you get your hinge you place it on the as the same as the others you whip the head off you get your hinge part you place it on you make sure you place it so the top is on the second part and it's inside your hinge then you go to the control menu find your hinge in the control menu go all the way down into the system until you find attach attach the head and set it as the same velocity as the others or you turn it off which it is and now it all runs together and that is essentially how you attach mobile hinges to the same grid without without it not being connected well with it being connected if you get what I mean <laughs> hopefully you should so I think that's basically it for the hinges on connecting them up together now quickly run through the menu again so we have the, our hinges we have obviously toggle blog on terminal obviously the name and then you come down to obviously add head small add small head so you can actually add small grid to it now that's what I normally do for changing large grid to small grid uh, we have reverse which is obviously the the momentum of the hinge detach which detaches the head from the actual hinge body hinge lock which is locks the hinge in place so stops it from moving our torque which is how much strength you put in the hinge for moving so the heavier the mass on the end of the hinge the more torque you're going to need to move it. Braking torque, which I believe would be if it was coming down towards gravity and you want it to, to come down slowly, not fast, you have braking torque so it slowly comes down. Velocity is obviously what you have to move it. Your lower limit and your upper limit are essentially the angle. So it always starts on 90 90. So it, it obviously, when you spawn it in, the hinge is at zero. And then obviously, the lower limits and minus 90 and the upper limits at plus 90 so you just have to do it to however you want the hinge angle to be and that is it that is all what the hinges are so if you have any questions or any extras you want to ask me or point out if i've missed anything please comment down below in the comment section and i hope you've enjoyed this little guide video i know it's been quick but i've just thought i'd bring this to your attention because i see a lot of people struggling with multiple hinges on the same grid so if you like it, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And thank you for watching. I've been Dr. McKay, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.